Okay, welcome to a quick tutorial on CoSpace's basics. So after you create an account and get logged in, you come to your um, your space, like a dashboard, and I want you to go to Create Space. This is going to launch you into the workspace and where you will create your virtual world. So you start with nothing except for this video camera. The video camera is where the viewer will be um, positioned when viewing the world in virtual reality. So you can move this camera up so they have a little bit more of an aerial view. Then you can move it down so it's at ground level. Um, you can click up here and that allows you to turn. So it's facing up more or facing down more, it's up to you. Okay, so that's what the camera function is gonna do. Now, let's take a look at down here in the bottom left part of the screen to the features that you have when it comes to building your virtual world. So let's start with environment right here. So your environment, you have some various mood options. Um, the environment itself, uh, click, select, we're gonna go with uh, desert. So now we'll just collapse that. We can see that we are now in a desert. As we kind of pan around with the mouse, which I'm just clicking and holding to span around. So options there for your environment. Um, in the library, that gives you the um, options as far as what to put in to your virtual world. How, like, what are you going to use to build it? The three D low poly objects are just as it says objects that you can throw in there to create something to create your your uh, your environment your world so scroll through those um, 3d objects once again just objects in 3d that allow you to build and create purchase is where you will find what you purchased at this point you'll have nothing purchased but you do have 50 credits that you can use with the free account building blocks graphics web image search those are all options you can click on and and use. Okay, now let's throw something in there and um, see what what we have for options. Let's put in a person. Okay, and we'll collapse that so you can see. Again, you can make them go up or down as far as like levitating, basically, or on the ground. You can make them get bigger or smaller. You can spin them so you're they're facing the direction you want them to spin. Um, you can also tilt them, whatever you want. You have options to manipulate your person. Let's go ahead and double click, and that's gonna give us some options. We can tag it with a name, we can give it a speech bubble. We can change the clothing, and the skin color, and the hair. We can give it different positions. Okay, uh, this allows you to just rotate them once again. Uh, you can see that he's sitting on nothing. Uh, move, make his movement locked. We wanna unlock that. Okay, so that's using and man manipulate in person. Let's throw in something else. Let's go to uh, another object. Uh, but this bird. Okay, we'll collapse that down. If we double click the bird, that's going to give us a new option, which means um, to fly. It has an animation in there. So we can do everything else, speech bubble, movement, size, but we can also make it animated with the fly feature. So some objects have that, some don't. Okay, now um, when we're thinking about creating our project, uh, there's another option over here that you need to know about, and that's to create multiple scenes. So click this tab. This is your first scene, which is what you're looking at. Multiple scenes, to do that, you go down here to new scene, or you can duplicate your scene, which means you don't have to start over from scratch anytime you create a new scene of new things happening. Okay, um, so close that up. It saves automatically as you work on it. To share, we're gonna go hit that. And this is the URL that you will submit. 
that'll take the viewer right to your virtual world in the headset. Uh, at any point you want to play it, see what it looks like. And you can navigate around just with the mouse and spin around. You can see things are going on. Okay, it's kind of what we've been building. So that is some of the basics. Um, like I mentioned, you start out with 50 free coins. And so you can go to the, the marketplace and buy something. Um, you certainly don't have to buy anything for real. You use your 50 free coins and then just stick to free stuff if you'd like. But that's, this is where you would find that stuff. So if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck building your very own virtual world.